Good day everyone, this is a case study video of Cuckoo. This video, you will know about the ecosystem and digital infrastructure of Cuckoo. Let's have a brief understanding about Cuckoo. Cuckoo Electronics, formerly known as Sunkwang Electronics Company, Limited, was established by Mr. Ku Jioshin in 1978. Then, Cuckoo Korea's first overseas venture was introduced in Malaysia in October 2014 by Mr. Ho Kian Chun. Cuckoo's mission is to further improve lives by meeting standards that consumers around the world would expect of a global home appliance brand. Their vision is to go far beyond all these standards that they do every day. Cuckoo mainly produces water purifiers, which people commonly know. Also produce mattresses, air purifiers, kitchen appliances, and multi-cookers. Not only that, but Cuckoo also provides washing machine cleaning services, mattress cleaning services, kitchen appliances cleaning services, and indoor disinfection services as well. They have various business expansions around the world, including Malaysia, Singapore, Brunei, and Indonesia. Cuckoo delivers satisfaction to their customers and enables the customers to have confidence in their brand and services by providing various types of payment methods and logistic structures. A business ecosystem is the network of organizations, which including suppliers, distributors, customers, competitors, government agencies, and so on that are involved in the delivery of a specific product, or service, through both competition and cooperation. The idea is that each entity in the ecosystem affects and is affected by the others, creating a constantly evolving relationship in which each entity must be flexible and adaptable in order to survive. The ecosystem player of Kaku are consist of four players, consumers, competitors, marketing services intermediaries, and also financial intermediaries. Consumers play an important role as one of the participants in the Kaku ecosystem, because consumers who purchase Kaku products or Wonder Clean services contribute to the company's sales. As the number of consumers increased, so did the sales and profits of the Kaku. Benefits are that the consumers can easily buy the products or services through online and with a deep explanation from the agent. Furthermore, Kuku also launched out the new version of its Kaku Plus mobile application. This app is a customer exclusive membership mobile app upgraded on 1st August 2021 to deliver greater user experiences and introduce greater perks. It includes exclusive user features to allow all Kuku and Wonder Clean customers to manage each product or service purchase more conveniently and earn exciting rewards. Only customers who have purchased at least one Kuku product or Wonder Clean service can register. There are various platforms that Kuku provide its customer service to its customers. First is contact customer service representative for further assistance. Also, email at info at kuku.com. My customer also can contact Kuku AI chat box at their official website. Lastly, customers can also drop message via official social media pages and contact Caroline at what financial intermediaries are helps in financial transactions. For example, commercial banks, credit companies, insurance companies and other businesses. Financial institutions can secure the transactions between Cuckoo and its customers, or Cuckoo, with its trading partners, such as suppliers. It benefit is that can reduce the risk of default, and also lowers the problem of information asymmetry. Cuckoo works with most of the bank in Malaysia, as shown, as the video such as CIMB, Bank, Public Bank, Maybank, and others banks for its customers to make payment, or paid monthly, installment, for products, purchased, or serviced provided. There is undeniable that competitors of Cuckoo play a vital role in motivating, inspiring and stimulating Cuckoo to become a better company, such as cost structure, branding, the quality of product offerings, and customer service. I'm more popular with reverse osmosis which known as I type of water. I'm produced filtered water that contains minerals that are mildly alkaline water. Mine have pH between 6.5 to 7.5. My water have pH value between 7.0 and 8.0. I provide services every two months. I provide services every four months. Refilling to full takes quite a while. Refilling to full takes only a moment. 
Kaku had put advertisements on some media firms such as Metropolitan TV, SDNBHD, Media Prime Berhad, Astro Malaysia, Holdings, Berhad, as well as Sinchu Media Corporation Berhad. Lee Min Ho, a famous South Korean actor joined as one of the ambassador of Kaku for 2022, in order to spread the awareness of health appliances for a health lifestyle in Malaysia. Now let us look into Kuku's digital infrastructure. There are two different markets for Kuku, including B2C and C2B. B2C refers to business to consumer e-commerce. Business to consumer e-commerce also called retail e-commerce and it is a business model that involves sales between online business and consumers. For example, Kuku's online store sells product that specially come under Kuku brands. Other online stores such as the official store under Shoki and Wazada also directly sell product to customer. Besides, each Kuku stall has their own online platform to directly sell their product to customers. So this is the example that Kuku uses the platforms to directly sell their product to consumers. C to B refers to consumers to business. Consumers to business e-commerce model allow businesses and consumers to have mutually beneficial C2B model sometimes caters to independent workers and freelancers who accomplish paid tasks for a business. For example, Kaku will find the influencer to promote their product and get a return from the services they provided. This is the example of influencers that Kuku use to promote their product. For payment methods. There are a few payment methods that are provided by Kuku. To specify, they are online banking, John Pay, Show P Pay, and credit or debit card. The various payment gateways have brought convenience for the customers. As for logistics, now you might ask what courier services that Kuku use? Well, they provide a wide range of courier services such as Best Express, DHL, CityLink Express, GDEX, and Shopee Express. Other than that, logistics tracking software is also being utilized by Kuku too. They mainly use system forecasts to control cargo. This system will automatically calculate how much filter is needed, and when they receive the quantity required, they can know exactly how much product will need to be shipped to the destination. To monitor stock levels, Kuku owns a real-time digital control system where they can monitor the amount of stock received from the suppliers and the stock requested from the customers. Over the years, the employees of Kuku have been able to handle their work efficiently. This is due to the fact that the employees adhere to the seven rupees of logistic principles. This includes providing the right product, right quantity, right condition, right location, right time, right customer, and right price. In terms of data, Kuku collects data in order to process its transactions. They collect personal data such as name, phone number, address, and email address. As for usage data, product purchased, product details, installation date, and warranty data needed. These usage data are required for the purpose of after-sales services. Here is an example for the data required. 